The Evolve Bats are coming to Clash Royale and this is a first look at them. The special thing about the Evolve Bats is when they attack, they gain HP and they heal. So you guys can see here, I placed my Evolve Bats on this Elixir Golem and they actually gain HP. This HP is massive. It lets them survive small spells like Zap. And if you just ignore them, they now guaranteed to hit your tower and do a lot of damage. Something else that is very important to know is this actually changes some interactions. For example, normally minions always beat bats, but the minions will not beat the evolved bats. I'm going to play minions here and you guys will see they fight at the bridge, no towers helping out, and these bats absolutely dominate the minions. Now you might be there thinking to yourself this looks really overpowered but honestly it's not that bad. I'm going to play an elixir golem here, my opponent is going to evo bats onto them and if you're just quick enough you can actually zap them away and they still get taken out. So as long as you don't let them heal and you don't let them gain that bonus HP it's not that bad. Let's take a closer look at the card itself. You guys can see it has a two card cycle. Here are the stats of the bats at level 11 and here are the stats of the evolved bats at level 11. Like I said the thing that makes them unique is that brand new healing and max health. It is very important to know that they only get the healing effect and the HP gain when they attack. If they they do not attack, they do not get those bonuses. For anyone wondering, this is the card description. What's cooler than bats? Vampire bats. These creatures of the night heal with each attack and can increase their hit points past their maximum. Overall, I'm very honest with you guys when it comes to new cards. This card is actually balanced. It's very similar to the evolved skeletons where there's some situations they are going to be absolutely broken. But majority of the time, they're going to be pretty average if not a bit below. As always you can get all six of the evolution shards from the diamond pass royale. Also inside the pass royale in this brand new clash of ween season we have this brand new tower skin which I'll showcase a bit later. A new banner you guys can see these bats they fly through the sky and then they hang upside down just resting. A brand new emote, of course it's a bat doing a spin. And then at the end, a royal wild chest. As always, if you are buying the parts, make sure to use code UFO in the shop. It really supports me. And for you guys that do not know, my birthday is actually in the month of October and this would be the best present you could give me. So of course the October season of Clash Royale is coming. The season theme is Halloween or clash o -ween. The clash o -ween season starts October October 2nd and with it brings the brand new evo bats the boosted cards this season are going to be the giant skeleton the night witch the bats and the tombstone there's obviously the brand new pass that we just went through the season shop you guys can see the book you're going to be able to buy is an epic book of cards the evolution shard is a firecracker evolution shard and there's only one emote in this shop and it's a night witch doing a bat chain speaking about emotes these are the brand new emotes coming this season we have the bat that Evo spin, this comes from the past Rael. We have the Mother Witch Cook. Obviously, it's a Mother Witch cooking a piggy. This is going to come from a challenge. The Night Witch Paper Cut, this is going to be inside the Season Shop. The Witch Fail, this is going to be from Path of Legends. And the Mother Witch Villain, this is going to be an in-app purchase. We are also getting two brand new tower skins this season. This tower skin here is going to be from the past Rael. This is what it looks like in-game. It's an okay skin. I do like the little bat details like the bats hanging upside down and behind your king tower here there's also a bat. You guys can also see here the brand new arena for this season very Halloween themed and the second tower skin available this season is this one here. This is going to be an in-app purchase and once again this is what it looks like in game. A very cool skin. I love the skull on the front of the tower. Also there's bones as the steps going up to the princess tower. I think it's really cool. Definitely fits in very well with this spooky season and once I have three crowned myself here here, we are going to take a look at the brand new loading screen for this season. It's very awesome. I'm going to press OK here and you guys are going to see the brand new loading screen for this season. Three little goblins trying to get candy and an evolved bat flying above them. Let's move on now to challenges. Throughout the Halloween season, there are going to be Halloween themed challenges. And the first one we can share with you guys is the bats evolution draft. So obviously this is a draft challenge like any other draft. Two cards pop up, you have to pick one. But at some point, 
you'll get an option like this between the evolved bats and another evolution. So keep that in mind when you are drafting. This challenge comes out October 6th to October 9th and like always for all the challenges I'll upload a 12 wing guide. And finally we are going to take a look at the banners coming this season. I'm just going to flash a few of them on the screen. Majority of these you get from the banner boxes. There's obviously one you get from the pass, one you get as an in-app purchase which is this one right here and then one you get from a challenge. Overall an awesome season of Clash Royale. Leave a like and subscribe for more.